hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i made a marble tray and a glammed up vase or candle holder give me a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel leave me a comment and let me know what you think These are from the Dollar Tree, along with the adhesive diamond wrap, which we got in two in silver and then one in pink, and it's kind of like a ribbon. It's still the same adhesive diamond wrap, and also your glue gun. This is a very easy DIY, super simple, but it's also very glammed out and girly. We're just measuring first the amount where we want to put it on the vase, which you can do at any length that you want. So we're probably going to do around three. This is the pink uh, diamond wrap that's going around, which is, it is a lot easier to just put it around the whole vase because the fact that it's like a ribbon. So. And you don't need the glue gun for this, obviously. <laughs> we thought we were gonna need it, but you really don't. The adhesive actually sticks really good to glass. And there you go. You can use it really for anything. And these are our two cute glammed out vases. And I'm going to be using mine for my flat iron and my brushes in my closet. You can use them for anything. You can put a uh, candle in there. You can, you like I said, you can put flowers in there. You can do anything that you'd like with them. I made them in gold with the silver trim 
And then I had this plan that I've had for three years. I got it from Ross. And I just went on and added the gold diamond wrap around it. And this is how it came out. You can also, if you're not into these colors, they have them in other colors. They come in a darker pink, they come in blue, red, green. They come in all different colors. But these are the colors that I use. I like the silver, I like the gold, and I like the pink. Another easy DIY. We have a $5 tray from Target. And then we have this wallpaper, multi-purpose paper, which looks like marble. And then your pencil and your scissors. measuring the or tracing the bottom of the tray and we're going to be tracing it a little more outward so that it can fit perfectly on the inside of the tray we're just finishing up cutting the paper for the tray last part of this diy is just sticking the paper onto the tray and removing the wax paper from underneath. And don't worry if there's any bubbles because you can really go back and peel it off and redo it as many times as you need and it's not gonna really give you a hard time to peel off.